Are we live? Yeah. Oh, live. Well, I'm talking about this douchebag that might be a lady with a mustache. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good timing. On Good timing on Good your timing. part. Yeah. So here we are live. We, we're going to miss Friday live, but it is Treasure Hunter of the Year Award, so we're going to do a live while we are traveling en route to Goldfield Ghost Town. So it's myself, which is obvious, and Trevor. Say hi, Trevor. Trevor will be joining us up here, and then we'll have a special guest here shortly. Surprise special guest as we travel to Goldfield Goes Down for the 32nd Annual Treasure Hunt of the Year Awards. Are you excited, Trevor? Yeah. Okay. Are you really excited? I am. For the Just free dinner? Tired. What? Okay. I think it needs to turn a little bit. Don't mess with it too much. So we got a new, got this all new setup. So for just today, but yeah, so we can do live. You're going to have to kind of monitor on your phone to see if people are messaging because I don't know if we're going to see the, the messages in the text. I, I think well, I, I wouldn't should. do it on there because that'll be distracted. I don't need to be trying to read it because it's impossible for me to read it from here. So there we are. Trevor will monitor to see if anybody shows up. If 10, 15 minutes, nobody's really coming on, if we're not showing live or it's buffering too much, we'll just disappear. But we weren't going to leave you guys hanging. For another week, so there we are. Yeah. Trevor keeps messing with it. I just don't want it to. F no. So looks like an angry look. Looks like it's an a angry. good evening, guys. Oh, I don't know who it is. I'm David. Oh, Keith. Yes, David and Lacey. They've made it back to Louisiana. So they had to go home. They were going to be here with us tonight. Remember? And they're not because they are not here. So, but you're with us in spirit, and you guys made it safely home, so you can't beat that. So, wow, look, everybody's stopping. And you guys got out of here in time, too, because it's cold and wet and gray today. So, it's not a it's not a sunshiny, normal Arizona day. Ron White, this is a great day to you guys, too. Yeah, so, it, it pretty much rained all day. So, got stuck with the rain, which it looks like it's starting to clear out, which means it'll be kind of cold tonight. But we have our treasure hunt of the year, our special recognition person, and our veteran committee inductee. So Trevor has said he will film stuff, and he'll film some incidental stuff. So while you won't catch the entire couple hours or so, we'll have light something of it we'll put that up on a monday maybe we'll do it this monday i don't know if you can pull it th yeah, we should be able to pull it back because there's no interviews or anything really to do is there no just me do an intro and then new computer to work on yeah yeah we got a we got a new computer Spring break so so yes we have a new computer well for production so new mac new monitor too I mean, I'm glad I caught you live because usually I miss. It's David Villa. Could be Via. Or Via. Via de Via. But uh, yeah, we we did the. Hey guys, hope you have a great time tonight, Lacey. We will. We will. It's always, you know, when you're with like, I, I don't know, the self. I'm not gonna say homeboys, but when you're with your the guys you like to hang around with, it's always a good time. David said thanks, Wayne. Homeboys? Homeboys. Yeah, I don't refer to Me, shoes. Bob Shoes, Rod Feldman, Frank. and Frank are homeboys. Homeboys? <laughs> That's a gang nobody would be terrorized of. <laughs> Homeboy Frank. Actually, his gang you name is... address His him. gang name is Paco. <laughs> Homeboy yeah. Frank, a.k.a. Paco. Paco. Yeah. You got juice, Paco. Not much you can do with Phil. But yeah, so we were out there at the wards. We have we have a dinner and then we have the awards. Bobby Bunzel said, Yeehaw. So and I take it Bobby you won't be with us this evening. And disappointing. I thought I'd see you tonight, but safe travels to you as well. David Villa said, taco in the car, open the windows. Taco in the car. Uh, don't know. I don't got 
at that. You know? We didn't get that, so don't don't make us think too hard about shit either because we're driving in the rain. So, but yeah, and I did talk to Eric Delil this week. Delil and I had a nice conversation and all. So got to talk to good old Eric. David, he's a gas man. Gas, David Hill. There's no never yeah. much gas in here. No that problem. Uh, but uh, talk to Delil. He's doing good. He's got his new house. Everything going well. We wish him well. Trying to get him down for the rendezvous for the 20th annual annual this year. Uh, figured if I can get him to show up, me, Frank, and Woody are there. We'll try to then work on Magnuson and try to get the five of us in one place first time in forever. So Magnuson's always been the missing one because Delil was out one time. It was me, Woody, Frank, and Delil. Remember? Remember when Woody crawled into the back of his truck and went to sleep, and there's that weird encounter that happened that night. Do you remember that? What? That wasn't that year. Delil was there that year because he talked about it. He was there two different years, and that was one and of the two I years. Wasn't there then. Yeah, you must. Because I wasn't there at the same time as Delil. I've never met Delil. Oh, you've never met Eric? No. Wow, that's I crazy. I wasn't there. I had a tournament or something going on. It's crazy, Trevor. Yeah. Well, then we must make it happen this year. You've never met Delil, my old, my oldest son. <laughs> Your oldest son. <laughs> wow. I fed him and gave him Dr. Peppers and had to hang around with him and listen to him cry all the time, so. Okay, I have to must get over. So, might as well try it here since these other boneheads waited to the last minute to do it and made traffic almost come to a standstill. Oh, but that's what people are generally as a rule that get on the freeway are boneheads. See, now Frank watched us live, then Frank would be watching us live right now which makes sense, but you know what I'm saying. What? If Frank watched live, he'd see us doing live Maybe right now. Maybe he's just not sitting there waiting for it because, you know, he's expecting it. He usually, well, sometimes he does it in the bath. So, no, which is why he's not a me. guest. That, you know, he can't be a special surprise guest when he's in the bathroom because he dropped the phone. So, well, I guess you sure do over. Nice county, turn signal. traffic. Nah, this is Phoenix rush hour for traffic. Hey, Riley East Valley. said hi from N NJ. NJ, that would be New Jersey, Trevor. Well, yes. That would be New Jersey. I, know that. I so. just was reading the message. Yeah. Okay. There aren't really any other NJs. Not quite as animated and talkative as I normally am because I am watching the traffic because it is a lot of traffic and everybody is deciding to ride their brakes last second in the rain. So. Trying to get us there safe and secure, and it's been it's been a bit of a a journey so far. But uh, now nah, we wanted to touch base with everybody and see if there was any questions about anything and let everybody know. Hey, we are going. We'll post about this. We got a bunch of other stuff we actually discussed earlier that we were discussing of what we need to do for some of that footage and what we want to do to finish that stuff off and release it. Kind of moving forward with stuff. So the discussions are always there. Trevor's always prepared, but now with the new Mac and the new setup, Trevor said everything will be expensive. Expect my God, my tongue. No, exponentially. Ex exponentially what? easier. What did you say? Exponentially. That's a big word for you, I know. But I got Ex it out in the end. Exponentially? It's not expedited. It will be exponentially you easier You mean like for exponentially? Us. Exponentially. Like exponent? Not, no, not like that. I don't think I've ever heard of exponential. Well, you know what? I'm almost 60 years old. I can make up fucking words if I want to make up the words. And words have their own meaning to me, personal and otherwise. Okay. So anyhow, why are you gonna give me such a fucking hard time? It's like having Frank because, here. Because you don't speak English apparently. Exponentially. All right. So anyhow. But everything should be an easier process. One of the big problems we have with doing a lot of the videos is there's a lot of time consumption and having to load and upload footage and work through because we do everything in 4K and it's on generally the CFAS cards and stuff. And the way we have to do things, it takes a while. David so. said edumacation tonight. Edumacation, yes. Yeah. Hey, 
we got vocabulary. We're exponentially educating people. But we have vocabulary. We just use it any way we want. So, but no, tonight will be nice. Thirty second annual Dutch Hunters. I know Sal Degadio will be there. I know. Um, uh, oh, Frank Augustine will be there. Bob Shoes, Ron Feldman, Jesse Feldman. I don't know if Josh will. I didn't hear anything about Josh. So I will hold that in reserve there. Ralph Henderson's always there. So we'll see, we'll see Ralph tonight. Um, I'm trying to think of who else has gotten awards. Um, Keith Furland will be there. He got the award a couple years ago. So some of the guys, you know, they don't, they don't, they don't do it as like, like reservation. So they just kind of go, okay. And then you just have to guess whether or not they're coming down for the ceremony. Um, they generally usually do. Clay Sounds good to me in any language. Clay won't be making it this evening. We're not going to bother him with it. If he really wants to see what goes on, we can show him the video later. But I just kind of feel it's such a, an effort, and you know, with his health and everything. So, but then again, I've been surprised when last year I did not expect him to be coming, and then Shoes said, "Come on, we got to go get Clay," and we went and got Clay. So I waited, Trevor. Had a great time with you guys hiking Garden Valley. Looking forward to the 20th. Uh, rendezvous and Diane. What can I use? You can see good. Well, I don't even see anything. So it must just went away. It, it, must, it must go away. Yeah, it, it does okay. So one thing we want to definitely do today is because it's different. Because I would, I might have normally said let's just do an archival thing or run something else, not blow it off. Because I don't, I hate kind of like dropping it for a couple of weeks or so but and that woman's still talking we can we're gonna have to end, well we can't hit the map because the phone's up there but one thing i wanted to do is bring in a guest and we're getting ready for our first guest trevor every and live shows an education you, now you put your i can't up find it. It, it disappeared before i could read it well, it doesn't matter. That's why I said you could have your phone follow the feed. It wasn't like doing well I'm trying to figure right. it out. So, so, but our guest this afternoon, this evening, on the way to the, it is our guest that every time we drive, because <laughs> I drive Miss Daisy, because you know, you know what the, you know what the the, the children of today call that? What? They call it the uh, the passenger princess. So Frank's the passenger princess? Frank is your passenger princess. So you're my passenger princess now, and then you get demoted? Yeah. I don't know what that makes me. I don't know. Backseat bitch. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Frank's the passenger princess, so. That's what they, that's what the, the, the kids say these days. That's what the kids say. That's the vernacular of our, kids say, yeah. of our next generation. Oh, well, yeah. They say a lot. They say a lot. Of okay. things that also don't make sense. So, you're picking up Passenger Princess? Yeah, your Passenger Princess. Okay. And he's the, my that's Passenger Princess. That's what the kids princess. refer to it as nowadays. So, you can't really, and, and nobody's going to be able to figure out where Frank lives from this. Try. Go, I dare you to go find him. He walks, <laughs> he sometimes walks around naked, so it might not be a good idea. Oh, it is telling us kind of where we're at, though. If someone paid attention. We can probably end it in here. I don't know if we can. I don't know. Can I pull it in? I don't see an end thing. See, now you have it. Oh, there it is. Okay, we can just end it. Then that way she's not talking all the time. Smart. What? Yeah, see, Frank lives with the lizard people. With the lizard people? That's what haunting time says. Here we are from the Cisco. I don't see him out front. Oh, Frank's grass is green in spots because it's been raining. <laughs> uh, all right, Trevor. Passenger Princess is arriving here any moment now. So you'll have to get in the back. Yeah, you'll have to. You should be looking out here any moment. There's a weird glare here. Is it me or is it my phone? 
because I see it like a haze. Well, I think it is just the window. It's kind of weird. I have it, but I didn't seem to notice it on him. Just jam my back. You might have to go up and bang on the freaking door. Oh, that hurt. Princess is not coming out. Francis, Francis, oh, where are you? I don't know where he is. And we were about on time. We were almost exactly the right time. I told him 15 to 20 minutes, and it's almost 20 minutes. It's just a minute or two shy. So I don't know where he went. Maybe somebody else picked him up. Maybe he's so daft now. I did use that word daft, D-A-F-T, that he just came out and got in a random car that pulled up, like DoorDash or something, and he, yeah, he went. I think it's called Uber. Uber, DoorDash. Well, it could be God, DoorDash driver, Amazon. I'm just well, saying DoorDash anything that pulled food. up. You're but, saying that someone picked them up while they were delivering yeah, food. Yeah, and Frank just got in the vehicle and left. You might have to go bang on the door. Because it appears he's not coming. Man, what is that? Is, is it really? I can't. It's the light. It is the light <clears throat> coming in the window. Yeah. Someone said something. Yeah, I can't see it. There's no way I'm fucking seeing that. It's about... Oh yeah, can you see that? It's about that big. All right, I'm gonna have to do this. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not going to be on time with this thing. I didn't know. It was like prom. And he's like getting all dolled up. <sighs> Probably went and took a bath. <sighs> Maybe he did see we were doing live and said, hey, I'm not going out. But he could have texted then. He could have just texted me. Yeah, he's still not coming out. Texted him. Waiting. I don't know. I got a phone call. Who do you get a phone call from? Hello? Yes, this is him. Good, how are you? Yeah. Yep, that's correct. Well, he's coming now. He came out, put his stuff down. Now he's putting on his coat. It's not like um, he's in a hurry. How much of a difference <laughs> is it? Oh, he didn't bring his walking stick. He usually brings his walking um, stick out. Which one was the cheaper one? Let's do that one for right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's already paid attention. We're live. We do that every year. Trevor's on the phone, by the way, too. Let's say hello to your adoring public. I couldn't wait um, for you. There he is. Style of a Could I? You're, you're doing this on Monday, right? How are you, Frank? Good. How are you? Yeah. Let me I'm check with just them. Fine. Like double check. Would you be able to send like the numbers or whatever so I can run it? Are you ready for tonight? Yeah. Oh shit. That's all. Shit. But it's a free meal. But it's a free meal. <laughs> okay. It's a free ride too. Huh? It's a free ride too. That's right. Uh, Maybe it's just one way. Could yeah. be. Just so I can run it by sharing. Talk to Dalil. I, I was talking to everybody before about it. I talked to Dalil this week. He's doing well. He said hello. Who said hello? Dalil. Okay. Eric. The, the well, why don't you call me once in a while right and say hello? Can you call him? I've called him. 
What's his last name? DeLeo. There. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of close. Okay, close enough. But no. Mm-hmm. Hadn't talked to him since around Christmas. When I let everybody know Merry Christmas. Okay. With all this rain, I don't think we have to worry about the paving. Okay. Yeah, Paving I what? Can, I don't oh, with tonight? Yeah. Um, so well, we say if there's any activity down there, we're going to see whether or not. To go with that earlier time. Is that rain over by you? It just drizzled and sprinkled all day. It's fucking deep on my porch. Yeah? Yeah, Shoes told me it poured at Goldfield, but oh, he said uh, it like work. He but he said it came down like cats and dogs, today. but he said it was busy all day. They made good money it, today. It filled, like, filled my pool. Your pool was empty. It came down. Your pool was empty. Why didn't you keep water in your pool? You just let it go during yeah. the winter? Oh, you, it's overfilled. It, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you said it filled my pool. No, it really filled it. Okay. You got a bat ability to backwash it? See, this is when Frank can't hear what I'm saying. <sighs> I'm getting that glare. It's kind okay. of weird. Yeah, Trevor took a phone call. Yeah, we're on the spring break next week. Like our girlfriend. No, I think it has something to do with... Um, I don't know if it has to do with ASU or his job. Yeah... I think we would prefer. I think he starts earlier, next week. He starts his master's. He, he goes back for his next semester in master's classes for his master's. So I don't know which one it is. And then he has other stuff he's doing. So who knows? Okay. He's a busy if boy. It's, if it's covered by the PO, we can do the earlier one. I just wanted to make sure that it didn't have to be like revised. So you staying healthy? Okay. We'll do that right. the early Okay, and people, I, we can't read what anybody's saying because right. we can't see it. Yep, I've been making we need anything else. All right. Leather holsters for my for some guns and for my derringers yeah. and for <clears throat> my knives. Trevor, has anybody been talking to us? Um, I don't know. Well, I know. Okay. I my job never, it uh, never ends. So now we have Frank, so the three of us are together. First time this year the three of us have been together, isn't it? What's your name again? Yeah. Poncho? No, you're Paco. Oh. Your homeboy Paco. Paco. So Paco. Someone said, all right, Frank's riding shotgun. Hope he's packing. That was Ed Riley. Diane said, Frank is not the princess I am. Yeah, Trevor told me they say the person that sits over there is called the passenger Are princess. Are you texting this? It's live. Oh, what part about Frank. live huh? did you not get? When I told you, I said the li- they're live. You're adoring Publix here. I'm not recording it. It's going out live. Everybody, look Great. At this. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going out way. Oh, what a fucking <laughs> dick you are. That's my American Derringer. Is that one of the new ones? 45, yeah. And yes. the other one. It's got a bigger barrel, yeah. longer barrel. Longer. Yeah. That's for snakes. This is for people. Oh, okay. 45. Cool. Okay. Have you shot that one yet? Yeah, I had a hole worn through my hand. Oh. Right? Things got a little kick to it, or it gets hot? No, it's got a kick. Yeah. Not as bad as the 4570 that they made. Yeah, they make a 4570 in a Derringer? That's <laughs> stupid. You want to see? One guy shot That it. is actually stupid. What it, do you be It flew out of his hand, over his head, <laughs> through his windshield. You make your, you can break Another your bones. Another guy, it flew out of his hand and hit him right in the face. That's absolutely overkill at that point. If you have a Derringer of 4570, there's, there's... And see, this is my new knife. Oh, okay. This is a Remington Silver Bullet from 1992. Derek Papsky has your knife. Hey. Derek Papsky has your knife. Huh? There we go. Yeah. Uh, Show and tell with Frank. I guess who that's for. Yeah. Okay. Nice uh, Handle. What do you want me to do? Grab it and start looking at it while I'm driving? What do you think, <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, uh, fashionably late. The princess. Lynn Webster. Ed Riley said, finding his matches to light that cigar. No, he doesn't light the cigar. He just chews it. If you light it, it's done in 10 minutes. 
This is why I get two days out of it. Had, he has had the cigar since 1977. <laughs> <laughs> John Wilson said, is that Frank writing shotgun? Ed it's been Riley so said, long since they've seen you, they don't even know what you're doing. Frank, we love you, bud. I love you, too. Hunting Sack Time said, I like that Derringer. John Wilson said, Frank, where is your hat? It's in his lap. No, actually, Trevor wears mine. Trevor's wearing a yeah. hat Frank gave I him. I gave him a hat. Where'd that hat come from? I don't remember. It's a beaver skin, though, right? Australian beaver skin or something? It says it's yeah. Jackaroo. Yeah, that's from Australia. Yeah. Jackaroo. Jackaroo. Uh, Jackaroo. David Villa or Villa said Frank, 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 in all caps. <laughs> awesome. I don't know what the fuck. Robert Porch said old school Frank. There's no old school, new school, no school Frank. Frank's just out the school. KJ7 said just join in. And then Robert Porch just said just chop on that stove. Who ran Promac? Was it? That was a guy. With Tom Van. Was it that guy, Tom? Who I think he ran? died. Well, he's supposed to be there with his son tonight, so he didn't die. If he's dead, that's going to be kind of weird that they brought him. I don't know if I see him. Okay. Well, he knows you. KJ7 said, how many people asked about Frank's He's the guy already? that sold you the um, the guy that made the Falcon. The Falcon guy. No, that was... Uh, um, okay. The prospect is sold to uh, Promac. It's not per max. Oh, okay, it's a different one. Okay. John Wilson said, just need to get Woody and it would be complete. That was, uh, nah, we couldn't have Woody in here. DW said, who is the best up mama Joe? His son's name is Ryan. Do you remember him now? Yeah, his son. His son, Ryan? But you, what's his yeah. name? Well, no, I'm just saying, what's his name? Yeah, Ryan, and his dad runs a store in Preston, uh, Woody, Preston Valley. Okay. He's Anyways. the guy who invented the uh, that small detector I have. The Falcon. Yeah. Yes, that's what I said. Okay. We did that in the very first videos we did, the, the, the Legends, first YouTube ones we did, we used that, remember? The very first ones. So there we go. Ed Riley said, Trev Tuttle, master producer. Volter John Burgess III said, Frank, good to see you, man. Rock and roll. We got to take him out at least once a year. Anybody want to try? Than you. Eric, suck on that for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Nobody wants your stinky cigar. <laughs> Has anybody ever asked you for a cigar? Yes. All the time. Yeah. Like. I get stopped. Well, no, I mean like text or something or like request mean, one like can you send them? yeah do you get one like request for like autograph pictures this that hey frank can you send me one of your cigars because no, i'm not i don't do what you do i don't do you, that you sit in your much. garage and do these stupid videos the i don't, I don't sit do in my that. garage my garage my garage does not have recording I'm... equipment and guitars in it i can assure you that it has a mustang and a bunch of other stuff i don't David sit in my Phyllis garage <laughs> You sit in your garage all the time, though. Yeah, but I, no, I don't sit in the garage. There's no room. No room I, I have, that's true. You don't have no room. I to have sit. my reloading shit. I have my leather shit. Season. I've got jewelry repair shit. It, it, and, and the stuff in the middle is prospecting. And have you ever seen hoarders where they have those little tight little aisles that's going me. everywhere? That's Frank. And then, like, you see random bicycles piled up and stuff. See, some people do that with beer cans. In their garage? Everywhere. Oh, okay. To the ceiling. They have little paths that they go through. Oh, Susan Wallach Zek said, I got here late, but where are you guys going? We're going to the Treasure Hunter of the Year Awards, the 32nd annual. And we get a dinner. And we'll hand out some awards. And we'll say hi to all our buddies and friends and people we haven't seen for a while. And then we'll go home. And we do it on the Ides of March every year. 32 years which is a dangerous time for me because both my father and mother died on the Ides of March 
<laughs> so if you're going to die, this is the day to die. With the way he drives, he tailgates. Why don't you drive? Two inches behind the car in front of him. Why don't you drive once in a while? Huh? Because I don't see you offering to drive. Well, I see you offering down. to yeah. sit in the front seat all the time and tell me what a bad driver yeah, I am. Yeah, we're sure we're going to sit on your lap. Not cheap. So Taz said, Frank, that's not a knife. Try a mowering brush. Oh, he's trying to compete with you on knives. KJ7 said, lit but not inhaled. Johnny Evans said, has anyone ever found the Lost Dutchman mine? That's been found. Frank thinks it's been found. Yes. But then Frank never looked for it, so Frank would Ron know. Feldman and Tom Collenborg found it. Tom found it, and... Billy Martin found it, then Tom found it, then Ron found it, then Jesse found it. Jack San Feliz then found it. Yeah, the only no, problem is everybody just listen to him. Hey, I'll tell you what happened. Okay. I held a piece of the gold in my hand like that. 30 ounces in it. We have the picture of you holding the gold in your hand. I got a picture of it. It's not as big as that, though. Yes, it is. It's 30 ounces of gold in that thing. Close your hand up a little bit. Okay. And it's not a solid piece of gold. It's no. It's is it a matrix of hematite? Huh? Is it is it locked in hematite? Quartz matrix locked in hematite with yeah, popcorn like gold a, running through it. More rock, you see. Nothing special about the rock. There's Nothing the special about is. the rock. It wouldn't fit the description. Uh, David Villa said that's a secret, Johnny. Robert Porch said Lucky Strikes, my grandpa favorite in Pearl Harbor days. Pearl Harbor days. Taz said it has. LOL. Uh, how many? And Riley said I believe it's been picked clean. Yeah. You know the ore? <laughs> there's no gold in the ore that came out of the Silver Chief. Okay, there isn't. There's, there's gold. I crushed there's silver, though. There's gold in that. There's gold in the t stuff from the tailing pump. There's no tailing I, I have one of those crushers like Mike has. Yeah. It turns it into a potter. And I panned it. And it there was a lot of I got there. remind me tonight. I got to give you a piece of the ore that's in the door over here, and you need to tell me what you find in that. Diane said, "We love Mr. Frank." Everybody, her name's Diane. She came out on the hike. You've probably met her at the rendezvous. You should remember people. Do they need name tags that say their name? I'm like I can remember my name. Yeah, that's true. I went to the drugstore the other day, and it's, what's your address? And I forgot. <laughs> Another time, I asked you what the phone number was, and I forgot that. Well. <laughs> Very soon, we'll be driving down a highway, and you'll see a sign, Silver Alert, Yellow Jeep. <laughs> That's why Frank rides with me. So he's not allowed to leave the house unless he's with a responsible adult. Glenn so to get him back home. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. This is when Frank has his beer. Are you getting a beer tonight? I may. Yeah. He has a cigar, his beer. You get to see your buddy Jack tonight. You haven't seen Jack for a well, long I, time. I have to give Jack his knife. Oh, is that knife Jack's? Yeah, I'll show you. Is that the knife you were showing everybody, or it's a different knife? No, knife? no, this, oh, okay. is, uh, this was Jack's dad's knife. Oh, you And the case rotted, so he asked me to make him a new case. Oh, okay. He wanted to give us the gift okay. to the grandson. This is San Felice, so everybody understands Jack oh, San Felice. I made Felice. that the other day. Okay. And that is for my Civil War fork. Oh, you got a Civil you War fork? You want to have crosses on them? Yeah. Because forks are items that the devil uses. Okay. Is this a Templar thing? No. Okay. Why, how did you get a Civil War fork? Well, in Pennsylvania, it's easy to get this shit. That's the case I made well, did you find it, or did you buy it? Right. Yeah. I made that for Jack Sam Felice's nephew, and this knife belonged to his father. And I sharpened it on my sharp tool. Well, I'm driving. I right now. Put the cigarette down. Feel. Well, hold on, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, it's very sharp. Okay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Jesus. Christ. So maybe the little fucker will cut his arm off. Wayne Fagg, they teach up this, this, and everything else. Oh, Wayne's fucking a shitty driver. But here's, <laughs> fucking check this really sharp knife. Look away from the road. <laughs> hey, Frank, has anybody ever told you you're a dick? Hmm? What? 
What? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so you got to give that to Jack. So good thing Jack should be there tonight. Robert Port. No, I call him here. Okay. Robert Port said, "What is the purest gold mine in Arizona?" I don't know what the purest gold mine purest. would be. You won't find gold that's one hundred percent gold. Yeah, most of it's got a lot of silver and even, copper in it out here. Even the stuff that uh, Woody and I were finding on one of our claims was, was very nice gold, but it was eighty percent gold and nineteen percent silver. There's copper in there too, usually. No, there wasn't. That's oh, what I wasn't? thought. It, oh. it, but when, it, when Greg did the assay on it, it was silver. Huh. I thought you thought, okay, so you thought it was copper, but you found out yeah, it, was it was silver. silver. Okay. Taz said, stop snake. Ed Riley said, will you be posting tonight's event? Yes, Trevor will film the ceremonial part, some incidental stuff, and he'll put something together. I don't know if he can get it together for Monday. It would be nice if he could, so that way we can get that kind of moved out of the way and stuff. Hunting Time said he was issued that fork. Okay, he's that old. That's pretty old. Diane said, Wayne, kiss my Mayor Bob for me, please. I'm not kissing shoes. Kiss her what? She wanted me to kiss Mayor Bob's shoes. I don't kiss Bob. Oh, I thought she said, kiss her, kiss her snoots. No, she said, kiss Mayor Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frank, man, your mind's in the gutter. Walter John Burgess III said, you guys seen the trailer for Kevin Costner's new movie, Horizon? Yes, I have. Man, oh man, waiting on Young Guns 3. That might be pretty cool. Frank, you didn't tell me, where did you get the fork? I know it's from Pennsylvania. Did you find uh, it? Did I, you I buy it? it? At a, Auction. Okay, so it wasn't a find. No. Okay, no. that's what I was wondering if it was a find. No, it would have been gone. It would have been. Well, in something like that, if it's all rusty, you don't clean them up, do you? Or do you clean them up when you find well, them? Well, this is in really good shape. Yeah. That's why I bought it. Okay. Oh, well, Frank's, Frank's being tracked down. It's like entry music. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Wayne, Wayne is filming this. Hi, Angie. How you doing? Hi, Angie. How you doing? Angie, how you doing? So I'm doing good. Watching. Frank's behaving. Okay. All right, we're stuck on a highway. I'll call when we get there. <laughs> Bye. Love you. Bye. Oh, she can watch and see that we're flying down the highway. Okay. So, John Wilson said LMAO. David Villa said Kappa Gold usually. And then John Wilson said Frank doesn't want to die today, but keep waving a knife at the <laughs> I know, he's pointing guns, waving knives, check knives, look away. And look at this, look at this, yes. That's Sides of Mars. This is when my family dies. This is what this is what I do at home. I sit there and play with my guns and my knives. Hoping that somebody comes for an unauthorized visit. Okay. But it never happened. You, well, we can send people to your house. You had the well, monks. one time. You had the monks. One time. I one guy came. Was it Washington, the Seattle monks or whatever? The yeah. Washington monks or Oregon. Was it Washington or Oregon? No. The monastery well, sent well, the it, priest to Frank to come join yeah, them. He belonged <laughs> to the lunch, the religion of the lunch. I wonder if those guys still get together, Frank. But they, were, they, they belong to a cult. Did you give them a t-shirt or watch, a picture or something? They watch our show, the repeats over and over and over and over and over. They have a cult. So he, God told them to come see me. Damn, damn it, Frank, look, the mountains disappeared. Yeah. Well, God told him to come see me and tell him where the heart stone was. Okay. And he was driving this little Kia Louis tires. We tires. It was pink. Pink Kia with little wee tires. We tires. And I looked at it, I said, You driving that? He said, Yes. I said, Well, you're not gonna get there in that. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of we, you know what Sunday is. St. Patty's Day. Sunday's, what? Sunday's a gun show. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday's the gun show, yeah, but yeah, tomorrow Sunday. is 
the outdoor flea market at Merchant Square. What's Merchant Square? Is that a Mesa? It's a uh, antique store. Oh, okay. And then Are Sunday, you advertising for the gun show at the Mesa Convention Center. Oh, you get kickbacks for this shit? Huh? You get well, that's where I got my Derringer. Yeah. I won. And then I went back the next month and he had another one. You never see these. Yeah. You never. say, you know, there's many funny. gun shows I've been to in my life. I've never seen every them. gun you buy, and you huh? buy frequently buy guns. You say you never see these. No, the, you're, you're these like a you crack addict see. with guns. You, you know that. See. But you, if you never see them, how people come you keep sell. buying very, them? You keep finding them. Very few people don't sell. Them. Okay. David Mill is trying to find something that leads them. There was nice about it when you pull the hammer back, the safety automatically pops off. Okay. Unlike. The one armed Derringer, where I almost got killed by a fucking rattlesnake because the safety wouldn't come off. Yeah. How did you almost get killed by it? You weren't standing close to it. Uh, when I shot him, he was two feet away from my feet. I would say more like that was four to five right. feet. Coming right at me. <laughs> Green Mojave. <laughs> went past Woody and Larry and went straight for me. Went right for you. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a wet night. David Phillips of Arizona, rain something so good. It's been pretty good rainy winter off and on. About every month we're getting a nice dose. But this should be, and it's a lot of snow pack up north, so we should be about done. It's snowing up north now. Yeah, so. We should be about done with our snow days here soon. And into summer. I don't know if you saw the post on Facebook, but someone posted there was a big old fat rattler out on the trail of the superstitions. Yeah, you saw how fat, that big fat boy, man. I, I would have disintegrate literally his head. My point being is they come out all year I long. Have, I don't give a shit. I have a hunting license. It's permitted. I'd blow his fucking head right off. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because it, hey, it's on the trail, and people are bringing our kids up there. Yeah. All day long, up and down. That's what Tom said to me one day. He said he went up on the sidewalk part of that one trail. And Where, he can what, see what's... all these rattlesnakes just right next to the, the thing. And here comes his family. The kids all have flip-flops on, including the parents. Different. And Tom's like, are you, are you kidding me? I mean, you know how kids run around. Yeah. Dave Willis will keep the hossie up. I can going to run deep for long. Man, summer's coming. So has the Hacienda run? When was the last time the Hacienda ran? Because that runs pretty much underground all the time. A little bit down there by the um, sanctuary runs above ground, but most of the time the Hacienda runs underground. Ed Riley said, Frank, that sneak should have known better. It, for a snake would have died if it bit Frank. You don't give him a chance. Frank's Frank's veins are full of COVID and scorpion venom and lightning. Yeah, I, and I, lightning I too. <laughs> twice by scorpion. That's why I didn't get COVID. I thought you said you thought you had COVID and you get bit by a scorpion. Because you were sick before you got bit yeah, by the scorpion. Yeah, I had I had walking pneumonia. You're right too. I'm looking over. I gotta wait for this truck to move. John, oh, I gotta wait for this guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, Come on, guy. Move, 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 move. So that's because see, you're not paying attention. I told I was you paying. Why the hell you keep wanting me? Gotten you safely everywhere, and I've gotten you safely through every Ides of March. The year you don't ride with me on the Ides of March is probably the year. Yeah, you but die. you almost kill me every time, just like right there. Oh my God. John Wilson said, "Does Frank save the rattles from the snake?" No, Frank don't save nothing. He just wants to pinch him. He don't like snakes. He's yeah, he don't like snakes. He has nothing to do with snakes. He wants to kill no, them and like leave me. them. Frank, Woody doesn't. Horses don't like Woody, and snakes don't like Frank. KJ7 said Frank had COVID, scorpion bit him, and the scorpion dies? Probably. Frank's been struck by lightning, scorpion. He's been struck by lightning, Hershey Park in Pennsylvania. Yeah. 
Like I've hit my garage four times by this bark scorpion. Why don't you clean up? Oh. My whole body went numb. Yeah. And last summer I got bit on my big toe by a little one. You don't want to get bit by a scorpion. They don't bite. Scorpions don't bite. They sting. Stung. Sting. Sting, stung, stang. Alex Owen says backseat driver. Princess is a front seat driver. But we're doing well. We'll have a good time tonight. We should get there on time, even though Princess didn't come out of the house for 10 minutes. What were you doing in the house? What? I showed up. I told you I'd be there in 15 to 20 minutes. Hey. I show up. Nobody yeah. comes out. I finally text you. You said you, you were going to text me. I, I said I'd text you when I was down the oh, street. Did. And I did. 15 to 20 minutes. I'll be there. And I was there. Oh, la, la, la. It is if this is going to back up. Maybe I get up and go through town. Even though I said proper seat belts and all. Well, yeah, and if we don't wear the seatbelts, then it goes ding, 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 ding the whole time, which would be annoying to everybody. So, I don't know. Can you hear the dinging of the seatbelt thing all the time? Or does that kind of higher pitch stuff, you don't hear it with your hearing aids? Yeah, I have no high hear, no high pitch. So, yeah, you can see it wouldn't bother Frank. But yeah, everybody. No, I could hear, I mean, if, if the seatbelt thing is. Dinging, you'll hear it? Yeah. So the clouds are partially obscuring the superstitions. Yeah, it just finally came out. And there's a little bit of cloud cap on the gold fields as well. And think of all the morons who decided to hike up there today. Yep. Ed Riley said, Wayne, I think you're onto something with these live drives with guests. We used to do them all. We Well, we used to always do lives here and there and film when we drove. You should pick up random strangers. Pick up random straight. <laughs> the car right around. And just full of all kinds uh, of good advice. Or you go through AJ and pick up one of those whores and say, hey, show me, show the audience your movies. <laughs> Content creator Frank Augustine. Uh, David Villa said, latch them and sit on the belt. Should we just jump off here instead of sitting in line? Well, yes. Diane said, I said, stuck I'm it. the princess, not Frank. Oh, I won't go through the gore. That's a 600. We're back. All right, we're back. And that was Bob Shoes telling, asking where the well, hell it, we it were. froze it, so. Oh, uh, well, that one. Take, the, take the right way across. Right okay, we're going to go signal B to Broadway. Yeah. So yes. Gerard Howard said Frank was probably doing his hair. What hair? Shoes, huh. shoes called while we were and it breaks in on the feed and stops the feed. So Bob Schuess was in, wanted to know where if we were there yet. No, we're just around the corner and it was telling us that Main Street is down to one lane. So we're gonna go up Signal Butte up to Broadway. So and across. it's a spinny thingy. Yeah, well, because well, you got the trophies. John yes, Anderson I have everything. Frank's yes. trophy. <laughs> but if we don't the have the- Victory Club is a group of guys who once a year Give each other an award. Okay, did you get an award? Yes, I did. Okay. A couple years ago. Okay, shut the fuck up. Did That's you... only because I'm friends with Wayne, and I'm the only one ever found gold in superstition. <laughs> oh, he's the only I'm one ever found Tom gold in and the Felton. Yeah, okay. I've got the less desperate mind. All right. You know those on. Those How many other people did you see walk up here and hand you a handful of gold? Nobody. You never handed me a handful yes, of gold. You showed me gold. You never no, handed I said it I did. to I me. Handed you a you hand me you gold like... it to show Clay worse. Well, I was like, yeah, but you can buy that anywhere. Okay. Anyways. Well, go find some. I will. Maybe I when? got bars. <laughs> I put up with you. Maybe I put up with you because of that. I go, I feel bad for Frank because I got all the gold. Trevor, look at Trevor. He looks like a giant leprechaun. I've captured him. I got all the gold. You're Italian, you don't get that kind of culture. No gold for you. Well, you're Mexican. You get like wine. How am I a Mexican now? Look at him, he's a Mexican. Yeah, Mexican? <laughs> it's real name's Poncho. <laughs> Where did this Poncho come Tuttle. from? Suddenly, Poncho Tuttles. Suddenly I'm Mexican, okay, I'm Mexican, okay. Wayne, that's and such And your real name's not uh, Wayne anyway, is it? What? What's your first name? 
My first name's Donald. Donald. Yes. Say Donald. What's your middle name? Daniel. Daniel? Frank Daniel Augustine. Normal. Where'd they come up with that? Yeah, that's not like an Italian Catholic family name. Normal. Well, I guess it is biblical, ain't it? Normal. Daniel the Lions and that whole thing. I'm only half Italian. And that's what I'm wasting on. Or you're Mexican. He's a bean eater. All he eats is beans. <laughs> So, Ed Riley said Frank is really is a really big-hearted guy. He just wants Did to you get your DNA done? He's yes, I got my DNA done. I'm fucking I'm Irish and Scottish. 80% Mexican. I'm Irish, Scottish, and Scandinavian. Shit, Irish. I've never seen Irish look like you. <laughs> well, you know, you're a wild. I've seen a lot of Irish. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Frank. So, Ed Riley said Frank is a really big-hearted guy. He just wants us to think he's a hard-ass. Diane said, Trevor, good luck dealing with the teenagers. And then Stephen H. said, you guys driving to pick up Woody. No, 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 no. Uh, you no. don't want to drive with Woody in a car. No, I drove him to California when we were filming. And he is a nightmare. He can't hear. He's constantly jabbering. He's nervous. Um, then the veneers disease and his hearing and stuff, he has problems in being in the truck. He can't play music. So it's, yeah, it's kind of like, in fact, when we would ride, sometimes he would ride with the crew or someone or the EMT because to get out of the, because he couldn't be in the truck with us. Um, cause if we partially roll down the windows and stuff, the air pressure would cause him problems. And the yeah. numbers don't start till six. By the time we get there, we do it there. Broadway. Broadway. <coughs> so there we go. Past, we'll go past Tom's house. Is it still Tom's house? His is ghost it still is there. That's where he died. What? That's where his ghost is? Sure. You think his ghost is really there? He's with Bucky. Where's Bucky? Bucky oh, died. Bucky's, Bucky died? I didn't yeah. know Bucky died. They know left lane. Thank you. Bucky died, but Char Charlie's still alive. He, okay. he lives with the neighbor. Joe Golden said, Frank, you look like Bill. Bueller? Bueller? You look like Bill Burr? I don't know. It says B U E R. I think See, she's got that backwards. That apparently he looks like me. He's a lot younger than you. Right? He's a lot younger than you. Everybody, goodbye. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Catch us Monday at Tins and Legends. Probably push the X to the top of the line. Hank, there we go. X to the top of the line. Hank, there we go. Is that it? Here, Trevor. Is that it? Here, Trevor. You take care of it. Oh, pass. Now you need to pass it to.